Okay, so we're hoping today, the weather's only just improved, it's Jubilee weekend, Monday, um, about quarter to four in the afternoon, and uh, we've only just got ourselves up to about 15 and a half degrees, but the sun is in and out and there's very little wind, so you can see the bees are flying at the minute. So I'm gonna to attempt to mark the queen in hive one, and maybe just take a look and see just how we're doing here. Um, I'm a little nervous about hive one just because She's been there now for just over a month and the bees that she came with will be getting near the end of their life shortly so we need to be seeing some new bees being born. Um, but as I say, let's take a look, see what we can see. Okay, so we'll take the roof off, place it down on the side there, stick a little more smoke down through the crown board. <clears throat> Just get them down between the frames and then we'll lift the crown board off. Starting to get a bit of propolis in this hive now, um, oh, and actually a little bit of burr comb there as well, so we'll shake those bees off the comb. Stick that down on the side there. Once again, we'll just take a, a frame out. We can see that this frame still got no uh, wax being drawn out on that one yet. We'll stick it down the front of there all the same for when the hive starts to improve. I've got absolutely nothing here on frame number two. Frame number three, which as we see is our short frame, nothing on that at the moment. I think we're just needing more bees in this hive. This is really what it's needing. Um, so effectively now we're on three frames with nothing um, and then if I pull the fourth frame apart I'm actually going to need my hive tool for that I appear to have left my hive tool we'll try and just prise them apart there we go um, so this is frame number four as we can see there's nothing at all on the side facing the camera and they're just starting to draw out uh, the back side of that frame um, mainly for stores as we can see there um, so we'll just put that one back in very little interest on that one and we'll just pull these apart can't see forgetting my hive tool but this one's obviously a little heavier so it's got stores in it um, we can see here that the bees are happily drawing out the comb on there and then if we reverse that um, we can actually see stores on here and pollen um, but no brood on that one so we're unlikely to find the queen on that one so we'll just slide that one back in like so Make a little more just as I take these centre frames out a little more smoke down in and just separate those off and this is where we'll find the bulk of the bees of course I'm hoping we may even find the queen so that we can get her marked. Well, this one actually has pollen around the top, um, then, sorry, honey around the top, and then pollen, and actually some larvae on it as well. I don't actually see the queen on here. Um, we're likely to see her on one of these faces shortly, though. This has got capped brood on it. I'll just take a look for the queen, if I can't see the queen on it, which I can't, and we'll put that one back in. I'm a little bit uncomfortable with all of this comb off the bottom here, so I'm actually going to remove that. Um, just because it's pretty untidy number one but number two it's likely to start to stick to some of the other some of the other frames as we go so we'll put that one back in separate this one off a little more smoke I think take this 
one out. And there's the queen. So, we ideally want to do now is to catch her. this little tool here. So if I can spot her again, there she is, we'll endeavour to catch her. Now that should, the bee should be able to get out of there. I'm just going to put that frame back. Um, the workers should be able to get out of here, leaving the queen. They may not obviously want to. Um, what I now need to do is to try and drop the queen into this container. Like so. This is a queen marking container. So. have the Queen in there now. Um, you may be able to see her here. Um, I need to turn her over um, so that I can mark her. So, she's now marked, and uh, I'll just keep her on the side there down by the hive so they don't get too agitated, um, but in a moment, just leave it a minute for the, for the paint to dry. Um, we'll release those, those few out. They'll come in by the queen because they're her attendants. release her back onto the same frame. There we go. So, one queen marked. Hopefully you can see her there on the frame with a yellow dot walking around. And that should make it quite a bit easier now for us to spot the queen. They'll try to clean that off her, but I'm hoping that that'll be dry enough that uh, we will be okay. So I'm going to stick that back in now. To be perfectly honest, there's very little more I want to do with this hive, and as it's so cold, I will. Uh, I'll just get them back and let them just let them settle back down again. So we'll close that back up. There we go. And we'll put our last frame back in. level them up and again we'll just, just get some more smoke on just to send them down and if we just look now we've actually got uh, one two three four frames that are fully drawn out on here it's not ideal but obviously it needs an awful lot more bees it's still quite a small colony um, if we just slide the board back across now, hopefully these bees that are that are fanning will either drop out or drop in. There we go. Which way you go in, little girl? 
there we go and that's that one successfully done queen marked